Yo, what is up guys? My name is Elusive, and today we're going to be talking about the top 5 tank classes for Archage Unchained launch. Um, these are going to be the ones that are going to be probably the best for you in all situations. Um, and just some are going to be better than others, uh, but I'm listing them from what's good early game, what's good mid game, what's going to be good late game, what's going to be good overall. Um, and just giving you a quick overview of the skill build. Nothing too in depth, uh, just explaining what the class does um, and what it's used for. Now let's get into this. The first one here is Abolisher. And if you guys have watched my PvP tier list, um, I don't really like Abolisher. But the one thing is, is that for a tank class, Abolisher is going to be pretty good early game. Due to the fact that it has the little bit of tankiness that you don't have yet with gear, but it also has the damage with Battle Rage. Um, so it is going to be pretty good early game. Uh, later game, probably not so much. Uh, it's just going to get out outshined. Um, but real quick, this is just the skill build. Um, now, these are the main Battle Rage abilities um, for, you know... So you have your triple slash, you have your charge, uh, Sunder Earth. Now I'm not going to go too in depth of what these abilities do. Um, probably what I'll do is I'll do a, a skill overview or a class system overview, which I might do here soon. Uh, but so if you want to know more about what these abilities do, you can go look at that video. I'll have it in the description once I make it and upload it. But for right now, I'm just going over this and you can click on the link and just hover over it and see what it does. It also has the class combos right here that you can look at. This is mostly just explaining what the class does, uh, not every single skill. So Abolisher is going to be kind of the tanky semi DPS for early game. Um, it's going to have the damage to be able to 1v1 as well as the tankiness. Um, and it's just going it's going to be pretty good early because you're missing that defense from the gear that you have and that defense skill tree is going to help you a little bit um so the big skills here that you're going to want is uh vicious implosion to pull people to you because you don't have that much mobility with the ball uh you have the tankiness from thwart the absorb damage you have also the movement from comets boom you have teleport uh, you have your shrug it off to get out of CC. Um, you have bull rush uh, to, or you can trip a stun target. So what you can do is you can hammer toss and then bull rush them. So it has a pretty good amount of CC too, but it's mostly just for the one v ones or small scale tank ability uh, since it has some DPS. Uh, you also have the increase block rate and and you get more metal from it from the received damage uh but you also have the minus movement speed that's why we have vicious implosion to pull people as well as you have the behind enemy lines to catch up to people and the comets boom um you also have imprisoned just to keep people within your grasp that's especially good for arena uh, so mostly this class is just kind of a 1v1 small scale tank DPS hybrid. Um, now if we move on to the next class, we have Pit Fighter. Pit Fighter is going to be a really good one for early game for leveling especially. Um, I would strongly suggest going Pit Fighter if you are doing um, Skull Knight. Or going Skull Knight or Night Cloak. Actually, no, more Skull Knight. Uh, also, what you can do is as a leveling build, you can change, uh, have Occultism, Defense, and Malediction instead of Oromancy if you want to. Um, that's a good leveling build. I don't know if I have that in here. I do not, but okay. That's a good build for leveling too. But mostly, this is kind of a more damage variant of Skull Knight. Um, and it's just going, you're going to have the tankiness with defense and oromancy, but you're going to have a little bit more damage with malediction. Uh, so 
and you're also gonna have a little bit of CC with the ring throw. Um, what else? The, you also have the pull from lasso. Uh, you also have the malicious binding CC. Um, you also have the damage from Serpent's Glare and Mana Bolts, which is pretty good. Um, this is mostly just the overall skill review. Like I said, I'm not going to go too in depth with the skills. This is mostly just to tell what the class does and why it's going to be good for early on launch. Like I said, this skill or this build is mostly good for leveling and it's going to be a little bit more damage variant of the occult or occultism defense and oromancy or skull knight. Um, that's mostly what it's going to be is the more damage variant of that now next here we have the dream breaker which is personally one of my favorite tanky classes um it is so fun to play and it's a very powerful tank it's tons of cc with witchcraft you have mobility with the mirror warp and teleport um you also have the imprison to keep people where you need them to be so this is more small scale it's going to be pretty good rvr but it's more small scale it's i think it's going to shine best in small scale where you can teleport in vicious implosion uh you can silence people and then fear them uh you can also imprison them uh you also have the damage with the innervate and earth and grip you're going to be able to burn people's mana uh you have the bubble trap um you also have the last one to pull people you just have a lot of cc you don't have too much damage but you're heavily tanky and have really good cc so it's not going to be that good early on for leveling i would um suggest changing something like maybe the witchcraft or the oromancy to malediction uh to level but that's going i think that's going to be a pretty good small scale pvp class um decent and rvr but it's going to be really good in arena it's really good because of the burning the mana and how tanky you are you can just outlast people now the next one is skull knight um now for Skull Knight is a really really good early game tank that you can transfer into Nightcloak which I think is the best tank right now in endgame. You just need the gear for it and Skull Knight is going to be a good placeholder for it until you can get that gear. Uh, because the only thing you'll need to do is take out defense and level up Witchcraft which we have Skull or Nightcloak next so I can explain that. But for Skull Knight you're mostly... you've not too much mobility but you're heavily tanky and i have a lot of cc as with hell spear you can you can shadow step in hell spear and then imprison people and then you'll have the wraith you can either summon wraith or you can have the ancestral where you can place down the wraith on a certain target so you can do that you also have the shadow vortex to pull in people and once you imprison them you can play dead and death vengeance uh you also have the banishment from uh to take out their battle pets uh or their mounts um you also have invincibility so if you go in a vicious implosion and you're getting targeted you can invent and then your your guild can just run over them um your raid uh you also have those orb life force to heal you a little bit as well as when uh if they move away from you they get stunned um as well as uh, you have the extra tankiness from readout um you have and if you don't want the damage you can change out deaths uh or play dead and death vengeance for like crow uh for the accuracy debuff um with health spear and then you can take uh, you can take shrug it off comets boom conversion shield uh, you can also take health boost if you really want to, if you want that extra health. But I think this is going to be a little bit better. Um, just for the little bit of damage that you are kind of lacking. Um, and then for the next one, we... Oh, real quick, Skull Knight. Going to be a really good RVR and small scale tank. 
um, not so much in 1v1s, but it's going to have a lot of CC and you're going to be tanky. Now, the better version of Skull Knight, once you get gear, which I highly suggest you transfer into once you do have the gear, um, is Night Cloak. Now, Night Cloak, you have tons of mobility and CC, and it's going to be really, really good for late game. Um, I have build guides, by the way, for... For Skull Knight and Night Cloak, I'm going to be posting those down in the description. You can go look at the build guides. Um, but for Night Cloak, uh, you have a lot more CC with the Witchcraft and Occultism having those comboed. So, mostly you want the same thing as you do as Skull Knight, except for you take out Absorb Life Force. Uh, you want the Comet's Boom for the extra movement speed to get in there quickly, the Conversion Shield for the extra magic damage. Um, or magic resistance um, and then you have a so this lasts for or you get a magic shield whenever you cast it under shrug it off too um, you, so what you can do is you can teleport in or shadow step onto someone in the raid vicious implosion them uh, you can silence and then fear them uh, or health Hell Spear, Silence, and then Fear, and then Summon Wraith. Um, and then you can always teleport to get out, or once you fear them, or Vicious Implosion fear them, you can play dead in a Death Vengeance. Uh, you can bubble trap people. It's honestly one of the best CC tanks for late game. It is so good, and you can get just as tanky, even though you don't have the defense skill, or the skill tree with just gems um and i have a build guide like i said i'll post it down in the description for you guys um but mostly i just wanted to do a quick overview of what the top five art our tanks are going to be for launch if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments or join my discord i answer any questions that i can um i'll do my best but thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy the video remember to hit the thumbs up button hit subscribe if you do enjoy are, are enjoying the channel um i may i'm going to be making tons of arc agent chain content especially with the release coming up next week um and so like i said i really appreciate guys we're almost at 200 sub subscribers i can't talk uh which is amazing uh for doing this for like almost three weeks so i can't thank you guys enough uh, i'm going to be doing tons more videos other than that i hope you guys have a great day and i'll catch you in the next video